Charlie is capable of making some very, very delicate and impressive folds. I saw Charlie fold earlier in the tournament facing just a single raise pre-flop I saw Charlie put down pocket jacks and it was the right fold his opponent had kings he's got a great instinct for the game he knows how Chris plays and how William plays and that's what he's trying to figure out. Does either Chris or William have a pair bigger than my nines? You can see him checking probably the pay list. Again, what he's considering is if I fold and if Chris busts William then that will move me up to at least 6th place, which is a difference of $5,000. It's nothing to sneeze at. The next player out gets 23970 The 6th place finisher will get 28764 Charlie has played his small stack masterfully. Charlie's a law student. $5,000 to move up one spot is an awful lot of billable hours. Chris is pretty calm because he's got 600,000 chips. <laughs> Charlie folds. Very tough decision. You can't fault the fold at all. Yeah, Chris Cornell faces a call of just 11,300. And he will call. It's a good call, as it turns out. I mean, he is a dog, but there's lots of money in the pot. And he has a chance now to bust William Erickson. William... Again, is happy. William's got his short stack in with the best of it. That's all you can ask. William's a pro. He's been here before. On the flop. King and a nine. William's hit his king. That means that Chris will need a nine or a queen to eliminate William Erickson. Queen on the turn. The tables turn, and now William is going to need a king, an ace, or a five in order to stay alive. River card four, and William Erickson eliminated in seventh place. $23,970 for William. Chris Cornell continues the roll. Although this is the first time we've really seen Chris behind and draw out. Otherwise, the final table, he's been nice running well and having his opponents bluff a lot of chips into his stack. Are you in pain? I'm not in pain. You know, I've been battling uh, through the tournament ever since day one. I've been short stacked. You know, I got all the way down to the final seven. I moved in with the best hand and the cards just didn't hold up and that's yeah. poker. And happy with what I finished and I played the best I can and have no, uh, no complaints. Well, congratulations on Thank your you finish. Thank you very much. And, and uh, take your uh, paycheck and spend it on your lovely wife who's standing oh, by. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Thank you very much. Eric Baldwin, who's been a very steady player at this final table, folds. Chris Cornell, our chip leader, folds. Ace nine offsuit for the big flick. Oh, and he will move man. all in from the button. Ace king. For Shannon Shore, Double that bet. he wants to confirm the amount of the bet, and he will call. But Sebastian Riviere folds. Well, we've seen Charlie beat 
Queens with a 6-4 off suit. He is dominated here, and he is going to need another miracle. The Big Flick has got to beat Big Slick. And Charlie has an ace-nine with which to do it. He's going to need a nine. He's got a three-outer. No help on the flop. He will need a nine or a running double gut shot straight. No help there. He's now down to two outs because the nine of hearts is no good to him. Two outs only. There's it. Charlie Ficker eliminated in sixth place at the Party Poker Canadian Poker Championship. With Charlie goes our last Canadian. $28,764 for the big flick from Montreal. Eric, Chris, Shannon, and Troy, all Americans. Another action-packed day has come to a close. Join us for more next time at the Party Poker Canadian Poker Championship.